my first question talks about gas exchange. So they are talking about that regular egg that we eat and they gave us a diagram showing the structure of that shell. They telling us that if you look close enough, you'll find little pores and those pores allow gases to move in and out of the egg. Obviously the gas is going to move in is oxygen, the gas is going to move out is carbon dioxide. If you remember in the structure of the alveoli, the alveoli got large surface area. That also applies here. How? Because you see those pores, those pores give us more surface to exchange. Another feature is short distance. And again, that feature is shown here because look what it said. They said that thickness of that shell is just 0.5 millimeters. So that's another adaptation for gas exchange. By the way, you got all these adaptations in what we call fixes low, where surface area, the pores, the thickness is short and Concentration difference, now how are we supposed to apply this? Concentration difference means that inside of the egg will always have low concentration of oxygen compared to the outside. But what process will ensure that the inside is low in oxygen than the outside, the egg, you always have that embryo, it respires. As it respires, it will decrease the concentration of oxygen. Let's start with the question every time I check the question I find the command word and the command word here meaning explain but that doesn't mean that you're not going to describe at the beginning fixes law states that the rate of diffusion increases when that diffusion distance decreases and that is shown right here the pores as you can see they have that much area so that's another feature that will also increase the rate of diffusion. If you could see here that they told us that there is a hard shell that is impermeable, but that hard shell will ensure that the membrane where the exchange of gases is happening, the membrane will always be placed at the right position. So the hard shell, the one we see from the outside, is to make sure that the membrane is at its perfect position to further increase the surface area. I still have uh, the concentration gradient. It would be steep. How? Because the embryo inside the egg, it respires. As it respires, it will drop the oxygen concentration and it will increase. I still have one factor that also speeds up rate of diffusion, which is temperature. Think about it. If the egg is still alive, not like the one you have in your fridge, if the egg is still alive, it's always warm. Being warm meaning that is more kinetic energy for faster rate of diffusion. So basically what I've done here, I took all these factors, I found evidence in the question and I wrote about it.